Okay, so we're ready for uh, part two here where we're going to scaffold out our game page. So what we're gonna need to do first is create a game HTML file. And then we'll also go ahead, ahead and create our game CSS file. So in game, uh, we can do kind of the same thing we did with our index one, uh, use this emit abbreviation to get uh, scaffolding. And then we can call this uh, quick, yeah, quick quiz. And then just call this play, I guess, something like that. All right, so we've got, got that index um, HTML or the game HTML file created. Now, if we, if we click on our play button, we should be taken to this blank screen, which is good. That's what we want. So uh, in here, everything, every one of our pages is going to uh, be inside of a container. And then we'll have, then we'll have an ID of game and then a class of justify center and uh, flex column. So these are uh, two of the ones that we saw in the last one as well. And then just inside of here, I'm going to have an H2. And this is going to be our question. Say, so what is the answer to, to this question? And this will also have, since we're going to need to reference this, just want to give this an ID of question. So uh, let's go ahead and go to our play screen. And you'll see... You'll see that we've got it and it's showing our H2, but it doesn't uh, have that background of the container and it's not centering our content. That's because we didn't include our app CSS. So we're gonna include the, the app CSS here. Oh, if I could type it right, app CSS. And now, uh, now it looks a little bit more of what we expect. Now we will have enough uh, styling in here for the game page itself that we're actually going to create and include our uh, game CSS as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. So this is gonna include the game CSS. Okay, so we've got our question up here and now we're going to need uh, four different uh, answer choices. So what I'm gonna do, and, and this will become a little bit more apparent as we style it, I'm gonna start with a class of choice container. Now this is gonna be the overall uh, container for our choice obviously pretty self-explanatory and then inside of that we're going to have a p tag with a class of choice prefix and the prefix is basically going to be a b c or d all right so this one this first one's going to be a and we're also going to have a p tag with a class of choice text so this is going to be choice one so we'll look at this it should show up here really tiny actually which is fine we'll come back and style that and we're going to need four different ones of this so one two three, four, just copy and paste in that. So uh, this will be choice two and it'll be uh, B. And then we'll have C and choice three. And then D will be choice four. So now if you save this, this is the, this is the overall layout for our choices. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and style this stuff since we already have it all laid out. So we're gonna start with our choice container and we want this to be a display of flex again. We're gonna set some margin on the bottom between the, between the different uh, answer choices, which will be 0 0.5 rem. Uh, we want uh, this to take up the entire width, so we're gonna make this uh, width of 100%. The font size will be 1.8 rem. And then uh, we're gonna give it a border, so a 0 0.1 rim solid, and then we'll use an RGB here so that we can uh, do some transparency in the end. So this is gonna be 86, 165, 235, and then an opacity of 0 0.25. So it'll just make it a really subtle, uh, really subtle color for us. And then the last thing is the background color will be white. So you can see it's got the background color white, it's got the uh, border, it doesn't have any padding or anything. So the way we're gonna do this is these individual items inside of here will have, uh, have their own padding. And this is so that if you look at uh, this, notice that uh, the blue color fills up the entire box here. So this is why we're gonna have this inner element at its own padding instead of padding on the container itself. Hope that makes sense. So uh, to do that, we're gonna do our choice prefix and we're going to say padding is 1.5 rim on top and bottom and then uh, 2.5 rim on the uh, sides and then our background color is going to be our blue color 
So 5, 6, A, 5, E, B. I think that's right. And we'll set the color of that text to white. So this should be looking a lot better here. So those are looking good. Now we need to do our choice text. And we just really want to do some padding on here. So we'll do 1.5 rim. If I spell it correctly. All right. So that's looking pretty good. The only thing we're missing here is the hover state. And the hover state is going to be uh, basically exactly what we did with our buttons. Uh, so we're going to do choice container and then hover. And then we're going to say cursor pointer. We'll do, and I'm just going to copy these in because we've used them before. So I can actually grab it from our app CSS, grab the hover stuff, copy it over, paste it in. And then uh, this should look pretty good, right? You can see those answer choices with a nice little hover effect. So uh, b just a, kind of a side note, if we were using something like SAS, uh, we could reuse uh, this, this little piece of code here to create a mix-in in SAS so that we could reuse it instead of just copying and pasting the code over to different parts of our, our application here. Uh, so we're not doing that. So this is kind of where we are. We could do a give each of these each of these things so an extra class and then add the hover state like a uh, honestly a hover class maybe or something like that uh, but this is what we got for now which I think is fine because we're, we're only going to use that uh, in those two places which is good so we've got our game page uh, created and styled with obviously dummy content in the next video we're going to go and load all of our choices from an array of questions and then handle moving through questions as the user tries to answer them so that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.